So what is suprascapular nerve pulsed radio frequency? Um, well, if you have a patient who has uh, shoulder pain, uh, this is what we call a minimally invasive pain management technique uh, for its treatment. Um, the shoulder pain may be due to a variety of reasons, but generally the patient has had other treatment, maybe medications, physios, surgical intervention, arthroscopy, shoulder replacement, etc. But unfortunately they still have shoulder pain. Now the suprascapular nerve is a nerve that supplies approximately 75 to 85 percent of the nerve supply to the shoulder joint. When we do pulsed radio frequency, um, we bring the patient in as a day case and anatomically we're looking at the back of the um, chest, we're looking at the scapula, the sort of wing bone. Um, it has a, um, a uh, protuberance on it and there's a little notch above it which is called the suprascapular notch and that's where the suprascapular nerve runs and, and supplies the shoulder joint. We clean up the area with some antiseptic, local anaesthetic in the skin, and then again, either under x-ray or ultrasound guidance, and, and we can do this uh, without either, we put a tiny little probe down to the bone, and then we carefully walk it up to the suprascapular notch. We put the, the probe through the suprascapular notch, and then we put an electrical current through uh, to stimulate the nerve. Um, the patient is not uncomfortable, the patient will describe a dull pulsing sensation and once we've found that as accurately as possible we will put cycles of an electrical current uh, through the suprascapular nerve in order to uh, reset it and make it work properly. Um, a lot of people will do that treatment on its own. Uh, the other way to do it is to do that treatment and the pulsed radio frequency the electrical treatment, as I said, uh, would take place for anything between two and ten minutes. Um, and then some practitioners will put long-acting local anaesthetic and steroid around the nerve as well. So they, they have pulsed radio frequency treatment, but also uh, a nerve block essentially. Now the aim of the game with this procedure is to reduce the pain in the shoulder joint, uh, to provide a pain-free window, uh, and then that will allow physiotherapy-based rehabilitation. We always suggest our patients are seen by one of our specialist pain physiotherapists. In terms of the risks and benefits, benefits of the procedure of pain relief takes about 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Uh, the risks are failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort. Uh, there may be some numbness, weakness, pins and needles for a few hours which will wear off. Um, other than that, this is a very simple, straightforward procedure. Uh, it can potentially give very excellent pain relief, and more importantly, with that pain-free window, a patient can start their rehabilitation, start their home exercise program, and get themselves on the way to recovery.